Stephen, back to here at Ibrox this afternoon. Talk us about that performance. Yeah, listen, it's the, the, the performance, especially in the second half, was, was good. It's not easy when you when you at times when you've when you've got a man extra. So it's important that you need to make that count uh, with the speed in your play and picking up really important positions. What I felt was in the first half, we were a wee bit sloppy in possession. Um, like I said, Rangers had changed their shape from what they would normally do, which we had kind of inclined that, 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 that might try something different. Um, but in these games, especially when there's fans in, you're coming away from home. It's a, it's a different atmosphere for the players, which is, is part of the biggest things about their development. They need to get used to these kind of environments. Um, but like I say, as the game we're on, I thought, I thought we, were, we were the dominant side. The goals obviously come at a good time, but you must have been so pleased with the attitude and the, and the fight of the players throughout. Yeah, well, listen, the biggest thing that, that we've spoke about this year has been the character of the players, the resilience of the players, and, and trying to then get them, not just as, as, as players, but as people as well. They need to have a wee bit of humility about them, but everything's about how hard they work. That's that's the most important thing. And when you look at the games that we've played this year, in big moments, this, the, the boys have, have, have performed, which was good. Like I say, we'll analyse the game the, the way that we, that, that we always do, um, but it's important in these games that, that the performance allows you then to, 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 to try and get the victory and the second half performance was very good, it was very professional. Like I said, we, we didn't want to kind of get caught up in anything that was going to happen, whether that was a silly bookings or for us to get one of our, our boys sent off. The most important thing for us was trying to keep our discipline, playing the way that we always want to play and, and, and I felt we did that, especially in the second half. It was also great to see Dan Murray back out there after a year injured. Listen, he's, he's been absolutely terrific. Um, a lot of times a young player and even as a, as a senior player you find out what you like as a person when you when you have a serious injury. Dan also had, uh, had a really, really tough time, you know, when you look at both him and Ben McPherson, the, the two boys that have had long term injuries and they've come back, Dano's put so much hard work and dedication um, and he, his physique and trying to come back in a better place than what he was beforehand and you can see that just the way that he comes on, his physique, he now looks like a man and that's not easy to do, that shows you the character of him, Ben McPherson was the exact same when Ben came back and you can see the performance that he's now putting in on a weekly basis, um, so it's, it's it, the challenge now, Joey Dawson's now got that ahead of him which hopefully he makes the same type of recovery but there's, there's not, certainly for our boys, there's not two better inspirational figures than for our boys when they do get injured, when you see the Murray coming back and you see Ben McPherson coming back for such a long, long injury that they both had, so delighted for the two of them. And up in Dingwall we've seen Rocco Vata and Ben Summers feature yeah. on the bench and obviously Rocco came off the bench as well, you must yeah. have been delighted with that and it's great motivation for the squad. I think you know the biggest thing for us will say is about our, our, our job this year and our role this year has been is trying to develop players so that we're trying to bridge the gap between our first team um, and obviously the B team. We've, we've, not got, we've not had Ben Summers, we've not had Boston, we've not had Rocco for a reason. That's because they've been performing very well and then they're up with the first team. Like I say, we don't want them down with us in the nice as possible way because that means that they're then performing at a high level so that they're going to the manager can then trust them. And you see that with Rocco coming on today. So they're absolutely delighted and hopefully there can be a few more before the end of the season.